Hi guys, Vela here, VST, Vela Swiss Tech. Welcome back on my channel. What you can see here on the screen is actually two phones. So we have a Samsung phone and we have a OnePlus phone. And I'm not telling you which phone is which. And by the way, this is a joke I think you can probably already see. I want to make this video, guys. After yesterday, I've updated my OnePlus 8 Pro to the very latest Oxygen OS 11 Open Beta 1. If you want to see how you can do this, check my video here on the right side, okay? And right now, guys, on the left side, I have also my Samsung S10 Plus running the latest One UI 2.5, which I also updated. And if you want to see how you can get the latest One UI 2.5 for your S10 or S10 Plus or Note 10, check again here, guys. It's gonna be here on the right side. And I wanted to do this video and show you 10 things from the One UI 2.5 and the Oxygen OS 11. And guys, then we're going to see for real is really Oxygen OS 11 a ripoff of One UI 2.5 or One UI in general. As you can see, there is of course some resemblance and a lot of people once the OnePlus team released the first developer preview from the OS Oxygen 11, a lot of people on the internet you know, were screaming heavily, oh, that's a ripoff, you know, Oxygen OS 11, bad ripoff, One UI 2. I have a different opinion and I'm going to explain why. And I just want to show you guys 10 things that we have on the One UI 2.5 and also that we have on the Oxygen OS 11. And then you can also judge for yourself, okay, is this really one-to-one? -one? Is this just, you know, looking a little bit like this or it's completely different? So stay tuned, make sure that you subscribe for my channel and don't skip a step in this video as I promise you, it's gonna be very, very interesting. So we are starting here with a clear view of the home screen. Here we have the Galaxy S10 Plus running the latest One UI 2.5 and here we have the OnePlus 8 Pro running the latest Oxygen OS 11 Open Beta 1. Okay, this is the clear view. The first thing I want to show you guys here is the notifications and the panel. Okay, so I'm scrolling so we can have a feel and look on how this looks like. Okay, I'm going to do like this here so you can see how the icons expand. I'm going to do the same here so you can see also how the icons expand on the Oxygen OS 11, all right? So here we have the slider for the brightness. Samsung, you know, when you go to the right, it changes the color. Now on the OnePlus, you see just static. So I would say that this don't really look alike. First one here, I would not say that they have really a complete match. Also, you have a second page of quick toggles. As you can see here on the One UI 2.5, it's the same on the Oxygen OS 11. Here you can see it, they take kind of like the full screen probably a little bit more convenient than what we have here. Right now here you can add them, but they just take kind of like the 50% of your screen more in the upper part. The next things we wanna see is the notifications. How do they appear in the shade? So I just crawl like this. I don't really have the same notifications. It's pretty much here Android 11 style, which we have here on the right, but Android 10 is pretty much the same. So I don't really expect that there are gonna be very big differences, right? So for example, here you have a YouTube video. If you click on the notification, you you're gonna get redirected, of course, through the YouTube. Uh, if you click here on the notification to the link, you're gonna get to the link. I think the same level of controls are implemented, okay? Pretty much, you know, what you would expect to have here. So no big differences here as well. And do they look like each other? I will leave this up to you. The third thing I wanna show you is the weather app. So on the Samsung, I will just click here, okay? And I'll just click here on the OnePlus. Now, I've been already told that the weather app on the One UI 5 <laughs> already showing some ads. Okay, do they look like each other? You have to tell me. Honestly, my opinion is, yeah, they don't really look alike. I pretty much see they're showing the same amount of information, but this is really a different style. Fonts are different, the whole layout is different, so no clear resemblance here as well. The third thing I wanna show you is the phone app, because actually this is like the stock app, the core apps from Oxygen OS 11, where people said that they really look like the one in the One UI. So I'm just going to open this, okay? This here is the Samsung. You can see all the contacts, and this here actually are the contact list, you know, from the Oxygen OS 11. Is this looking like the same? I don't really think so. Also, just pay attention to the animation, okay? See the animation here, see the animation here, okay? It is a little bit different. Here we have a title set phone. In the center here we have contacts, okay? And if we just have to scroll down, okay, yeah, I don't really think that it looks 
exactly the same. And I'm gonna show you guys the keypad. So if you go here, you're just gonna get the keypads. But if you go here, guys, you're gonna get the keypads and on top you really have the frequently dialed contacts. So it's really convenient and it doesn't really look the exact same way like on the One UI 2. Here you have to go to Recents where you apparently get this information. All right, so this has been the phone list. The fourth thing I wanna show you is the messages. So let's open the messages on the One UI. Let's open the messages here on the Oxygen OS 11. Does this look one-to-one? -one? I'll tend to say no, but I would really love to hear your opinion in the comments below. Okay, so we have the messages here. So let's say if you open one, if you open this one here, yeah, different font, okay. I don't really think, you know, that it's pretty much the same. For me, it does look different. Again, here we have like this very standard titling here. We have the name of the section, which is a little bit to the left. And here on the one year 5, it is pretty much the same, but it's centered. And look here also animation wise, when you scroll down the right top, this really gets kind of like minimized. And here it's not pretty much the same here. This get this disappearing effect, all right? So just see, I'm just gonna do it slowly, right? So see it messages here, just get smaller and here, you know, it kind of like disappears. So it's a different design decision, right? So is this really one-to-one? -one? I would say no. The fifth thing I wanna show you guys is the calculator. And I'm doing this because again, the stock apps or the core apps from the operating system and the one that people are saying, listen, they're really a ripoff. Now, does this look like this or this look like this? I don't think so. But here we see that in the OS Oxygen 11, we have the very same uniform design where we see the title with very big letters and it's also indented to the left. And apparently, you know, if this will be like a scrollable menu, this is gonna get like minimized, right? So font is different. The whole layout is different here. All right, the sixth thing I wanna show you guys is of course the camera menu. So I'm just gonna open the camera here. So again, is this the same? I would not really say yes. So the Samsung camera really has this layout where you have the settings here, the flash, the timer and the resolution. And on the OnePlus camera is a little bit different. Okay, but it's still a camera setup, right? So they don't really look so different, but is this the same? I don't really think so, right? It is really like a different design touch, okay? The seventh thing I wanna show you is really the settings. And I think actually the settings menu was the menu where the people really said, hey, the Oxygen OS 11 is really a ripoff. And I wanna show you guys the settings menu. And then we have to decide together, is this really like one-to-one -one or is it a little bit different? So how I do access the menu, I just go like this and I just go settings on the One UI. Here I go like this and I go to settings. Okay, and now I'm going to do this scroll. By the way, just pay attention to what happens, okay? Now, when you scroll here the settings, you see all the submenus really are tweaked and you have this very nice animation and kind of also the padding between the submenus is changing. On the One UI here, One UI 2.5, you know, you don't have this effect, right? And you see, if I do like this again, here we have the settings menu in the center, small phone, here we have settings menu on the left with big letters, right? And here again, it's disappearing here, you know, it's just getting minimized, right? So I think the animations on the Oxygen OS 11, I really do prefer them. And can you say that this looks like this only because of the settings menu is a little bit intended to the right and you have this padding? I would have to say, yes, there is a similarity, right? but I don't want to say this is kind of like a ripoff, right? Because it's absolutely different. Okay, we have here the connection menu. Here you have, again, the connection menu. Here you have the sound and vibration notifications. And here you have the display, the customization. It's pretty much, you know, what we used to have also in OS Oxygen 10. So again, the OS Oxygen 11 doesn't really look like a big redesign or revamp. It's still very familiar to us, but then there is this new level of, you know, refreshment, which I pretty much appreciate. And if we go like this, you see, you know, all these nice effects, you see here it's a little bit static here we have all this kind of like jumping animations which i do pretty much love okay now the eighth thing i want to show you guys is the recent menu so how do you access it on samsung okay you just do like this and then you have the recent menu how do you access it on the one plus 8 pro you do it like this and you have it there a very big change by the way now one ui 2.5 supports custom launchers and all the navigation gestures from android 10 so if you want to check this video you can do it like this it there right okay so is this looking like this i think standard android okay here we have all the recent menu which we have here here we have all the recent apps that have been opened and here we have a button close all the only difference here is that apparently you can close all from the button here which is above the icons and here on the one plus it's below the icons number nine is the gallery one of the most important stock apps you know people really use the phones shoot pictures go in the gallery so opening the gallery on the one ui 
to the five and opening also the gallery on the OnePlus. And here, guys, this actually has been really a very big redesign. And as you can see here, again, uniform design. We have very big title on the left, big font. Here, you know, we see pictures. Again, it's, it's a little bit bigger, but it doesn't really look the same. And actually what I do like pretty much here on the OnePlus 8 Pro, you know, it's pretty much done so that you can access all these like native core and stock apps with one hand. So this is very easy. You just scroll down or you just scroll left and right. So here we have the photos, here we have the collections, and then here we have the stories which is very, very nice and they're new things. And by the way, I'm gonna do a full review of the OS Oxygen 11 once I use it for some days. So I really can make up my mind. Here is pretty much the same, but you know, there are no scrollable parts to the left and right. You can just scroll down. And then of course you have stories, you have albums, pretty much, okay, similar, but still they're not like each other. This one here is different. And finally, number 10, I just wanna show you guys the file manager, the stock one, because a lot of people are asking me. So here, this is the one on the Samsung. I'm just gonna type files. Okay, and if I go here, okay, and I open file manager, and again, here, this has been really the file manager that we also had in the OS Oxygen 10. So here, I don't think there has been any kind of like redesign or it's not really refreshed. Here, this is pretty much the stock one we also had before the one UI 5. So does they look like each other? I don't think so. No, for me, it's really different, right? This has been like really the 10 things I wanted to show from both One UI 5 and Oxygen OS 11. So you can make up your mind watching the video you know, how much the OnePlus team copied Samsung team, how much the OS Oxygen 11 really resembles the one in 2 to 5. And then again, please let me know what you think in the comments down below. I'm really eager to understand what you think based on the footage here. And please come back in several days where hopefully I'm gonna be able to produce the full in-depth review of the OS Oxygen 11 showing all the new things and features, right? So there are some things that I didn't show right now because it's really like a direct comparison. I really hope that you like this video, guys. If that's the case, you know what to do, right? If you wanna chat with me, just drop in in the Telegram channel. I'm almost there 24-7, guys. And with that said, VST over and bye.